What is up, Internet Basketball Junkies? Today, I want to walk you through a complete blob package from a previous season and the thought behind how it all fits together. I see a lot of videos showing one baseline out of bounds play, but optimally, you don't want a hodgepodge of plays from different alignments. You want them to all be working together. First, we'll look at the down series. This is a series of three plays that all start in the same alignment, a 1-4 low. These are base actions that make up roughly 75% of all the blobs we run throughout the season. This is what you're looking for. No giveaways to your opponent through their scouting based on how you line up. The plays that you run the most in baseline out of bounds should share the same formation, including how the players line up within the play. Your four shouldn't be located on the strong side block one play and then in the weak side corner the next. That's a giveaway. It may be subtle, but smart coaches are going to find that and they're going to use that to their advantage. Sharing the same alignment masks the plays from our opponent. Not until we move will they have any idea what our play is. If we don't use different alignments for all your blobs, you will key off to your opponent what you're doing. The opposing coach can't call out what we're doing until we move and at that point it's too late. The actions in the down series are a dive flare combination, strongly favoring the flare, the flex action, and a double screen in for our inbounder. Out of these three plays, I would say we ran probably the flex action down two the most, and when we saw zone, down one and down three were great options. Uh, they work against man and zone. After the down series, we get into our specials. Specials we don't run very often, uh, saving them for key situations when we need a basket. The centerpiece of our specials package is BW. BW is a silly lob play that works very often if deployed correctly. The less we run it, the better. To help disguise BW, we add a couple of plays that start out of the same alignment as BW. This stops the defense from sitting on the lob every time we go to a play from this alignment. The next play we look at here is a direct counter to BW. We call it BW again. Instead of the lob, we clear the back side of the play and then slip into the back side. As teams load up for the lob from scouting, this can commonly be wide open. We also have 13, a simple post up for the inbounder. Another play from the same alignment, it adds variety to the alignment that we run BW out of and it helps BW be available when we need it the most. Rounding out our baseline out of bounds package is a play called S and another play we called head tap. S is designed as a back screen for a post up after a gate screen. We wanted another option for our all league center to get a post up. And we already had this continuity installed as a half court man to man offense. So it wasn't anything new for our players. Head tap is a play we drew up in a huddle to try to win a game. We were down one point with just a couple seconds left with the ball baseline out of bounds. We didn't really have anything in our package that fit. So I drew up this play in the huddle for a back cut uh, for a layup out of a 1-4 low. We executed the play out of the huddle very well. Uh, we ended up missing the close in shot and we did lose that game. But since it was simple and since we had already ran it in a game, we just added it to our package and ran it a handful of times throughout the rest of the season. So that's the package. You'll continue to watch it throughout the film. And what I think is interesting is not the specific plays themselves, but the rationale behind how they work together and the theory behind why uh, they were installed in the first place. All right, Internet Basketball Junkies, shout out to Dr. Dish and Fast Model Sports for sponsoring this video. As we wrap up here, there's a few things that I need from you. One, do not pass on hitting that like button. Give an assist to a friend by sharing this video. Also, failing to hit the bell for notifications is a turnover. And sub yourself into the game by subscribing to this channel. Uh, if you click the link in the description to my Selfie store, you do not owe me a suicide. I have detailed basketball coaching content for sale, including a guide to the circle motion offense, a sample of documents to help you with your program's culture, 
a detailed film study on how to compete as a severe dun underdog, a guide to fundraising for high school basketball programs, a guide to the European ball screen offense, a sample of documents to help you with your program's organization, and much, much more. Click the link in the description to see all that I have for sale on my store. Thanks for breaking down this film with me.